A Story for a Cold Night. It's bone cold tonight. There's nobody around for miles. The sheep are sticking close together. The dogs patrol, but keep circling back by the fire. Any wolves that come around tonight are going to be determined. Sipping from a warm cup, I recall my mother's question. What's wrong with enough? I've got a coat, fire, and some food to get me through till morning, and I've got a clear sky with a field of stars overhead. What's wrong with enough? And then I hear something. Like music. Like a song. But more the sense of a song. And then I see something. Like sparks taking shape in front of the stars. Bright. Like angels. And I feel calm, and I become part of this vision and of this choir. They are singing, the word is God. And they are singing that love is boundless. And at this moment, I no longer fear the dark or the surrounding cold. I no longer fear the wolves, and the wolves no longer fear me. I ask the choir, why they reveal themselves to me when I'm alone and miles from home. They respond, we are always here. We are not always heard. Perception of the soul may be blinded by neon, halogen, quartz, and dogma in cities, academies, malls, and cathedrals. And light can be missed through the myths generated by calculation and equation. Love is boundless, even if perfect equation cannot comprehend it. We sing of the truth beyond equation and of joy beyond calculation. And the word is encompassing. I am alone but I am one with everything, and I see everything, and I breathe with the stars until the choir fades gently into the dawning. I know that on cold nights so many children are born, all of them miracles, and I wish them all, and I wish everyone, a warm coat, a fire, a canopy of stars, and enough food to get through till morning.